Hi everyone, and this is another review video for Ranger Keyset SP. It's my third take because I am really annoyed at uh, my other ones, so I don't have any mistakes. Anyway, moving on to it. So we just made this at the bottom, we'll show the logos for each of the each of the rare keys at the back, show you each of the shoes that come from from here, here, put the other logos there. I would like to show you all the keys you get and I'll go through to them at the end. Well during the week review. And all the stuff it works with. Spade Ace from Jacka. Decently detailed. Yeah, some of one of the keys was just sticking down. Mm -hmm. Um this is an outline for the spades. Um the colours are missing for the session of cape, but none of the keys have capes. A on the top of the head. And that's the right yet. Key twelve. Benji read from Benjamin. Missing details on the silver spot, but it's also like that series. Other than that, everything else is more or less there. Here's key 22. The Benjamin logo there. So behold, Benjamin by Benjamin. So is Goggle Red from Dai Sentai Goggle Five. He's missing the jewel for the Goggle Bits, but other than that, I don't know if he has to at least we have really researched the suits. He's Key 30. We have their logo. So fights, great Sentai Goggle Five. Next up is Dynared from Dynaman. Um, it was meant to be a baseball series actually, but it uh, changed into scientists. Um, the Gashmore version does have a touch bit of detail where there is the um, lettering in the gold bit the top. Uh, but everything else that has to be there is there. It would be nice to move those letterings. Maybe they might do that before they reach the DX Dynaman key set. It's key 35. Well, there they go. Explodes, Science Sensei Dynaman, the Scientific Sensei, what we do. Next up is Red One from Bioman. Uh, there is a problem with some of these keys in the which said the arms sticking up a bit too much and they, need, and they don't need to be. There's no way to fix it, but if you just get stuck with it, you're unlucky. There's no way of actually turning it. It looks normal in the box and you take it out, then this happens. But, never mind. So he has all these that doesn't have to be there. None of them are really coloured though properly, but he's fine otherwise. Key forty. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, short and she by a man. Next up is Change Dragon from Change Fan. Missing a lot of details from the head, which is a really disappointing thing about it. I mean, Change Griffin actually looks a lot better, key form. And yeah, that's pretty much it for him. He's key 45. Change Man logo, and again, got the arm problem. Again, get sent by Change Man. Pretty epic series, I liked it. All that American stuff and whatnot. Next, we have Red Flash from Short Sensei Flash Fan. Pretty bland, but it, it, there aren't any colours on the actual logo on the chest, but other than that, no, no turquoise things, I think, on the side of the helmet, but other than that, everything else is fine. These key 50. 
I just don't want this computer to act up on me again if that's the other two times in a row ago. So you see the noise of Flashman. Let's go from different parts. Now we'll go to the back row. Here is Red Mask from the Cadix and Time Mask Man. He has a 5 on the chest because he was really much to be 5 man, but they changed it for some reason. Missing the white outlines for the helmet, but other than that, I think everything else is there. It needs to be there. He's Key 55. We have the other guy, he's a 5 in the pentagon. Next we come to Red Falcon from very popular PZ series Life Man. Pretty much captured 100% perfectly in this key because we've got all the details in the head that have to be there. Chest is fine, everything else, everything is more or less there. Everything is really, really good. And key 60. This is actually the 10th superset of series for a long period of time until Cargo Rangers, where it's supposed to be going to 12. And the logo. Here's Red Turbo from Turbo Rangers. Again, captured pretty much perfectly. No colours on the um, logo on the chest again, but he's fine otherwise. I'm really proud of Turbo Rangers. He's key 65. And yeah, the logo is kind of dark, so it's supposed to quite and see it too well. There you go. So of course we're played by Darlinger in the same series. Here's Five Red from Q Sentai Five Man. This isn't the uh, white outlines with the visor, but everything else is fine, it's called the visa up there. Q seventy. Yeah, the five man like this just the these again. Next we come to Keith from a fairly epic Super Sentai series. And turn those acting up again. And there's Red Hawk from Jack the Man. Uh, that was it. This was actually originally meant to be the first powering series ever, but then it started to just go dinosaurs. Um, kind of annoying, but never mind. Chest is bad, everything else is fine. Got good things for the head, you have to be kind of hawk aspect of it. Here's key 75. You have the check around logo, it's the third. Next we come to O Red from our Rangers or Zero Ranger Five from Power Rangers Zero. For me. Missing the white outlines again for the star symbol, but it's missing a lot of detail for the um chest area, which is really annoying. We've got the map people on there, which is good. He's key ninety seven, and with this being the Super Sentai series almost killed off the franchise entirely. He got the tramp stamp. But anyway, you've got the orange logo there, all the symbols in one big circle. As far as I'm aware, this is the most unpopular Super Sentai series. If not, something like Ghost Age would probably be bad as well. Never really, really liked it. Here's Mega Red from Mega Ranger, or the epic Andros from Power Rangers in Space. Bandy Dunkey. Um, we're missing all the colours that have to be on the chest area of the 
Why is this just too big? The mouthpiece is too small. It's really like bad to me. I'm a big fan of Harry and Jesus' face, but I'm just really annoyed at this key. Please, key 108. Get the Mega Ranger logo, which is the envelope thing, based from um, New Blues. Symbol from Cocker Ranger. Then finally on the set we have Time Red from Mirror Sentai Time Rangers, one of the most popular Super Sentai series, it's the Millennium series. Um, got silver on the gloves, and the boots, which is good. Missing the um, White Alarm for the visors there, sadly, which is a bit of an annoying thing. These key, key 125. And we have the Time Ranger logo, which I don't really notice to begin with, but then I notice it a bit more closely. Um, if you see um, the formation of the Time Force Megazord, you can see it on the top of Mode Red's head. So I call his forehead. So, Mirrors and Titanages, you're under arrest for breaking the Time Protection Law. And that's it for this key set. So, when I recommend this, I definitely would get it. I mean, you get a big bunch of red range of keys. Uh, you get a lot of different sounds for it, and it's a lot. It's very, very useful if you're actually completing your keys. Um, and I just really do like it. I mean, I got fairly lucky. I got this from Army Army, um, where they barely have any range of keys in stock. Because people probably just pre-order them just like that, and then they're gone. But I got very lucky. Um, it will be expensive to come by though because you get a lot more keys than you normally do. But if you can find it for a relatively cheapish price, then I would definitely say go for it. I mean, it's really worth it. And that's basically it for this key. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm glad this take has actually done well this time, and I like the other two. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll catch you next time for whatever I do. So long, take care.